Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm Anush from AndroidRoots.com and in today's very own video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Android M Preview Build on the very own Nexus 5. So I'm on Nexus 5 right here. We're gonna go and go into settings just to show you some proof we're on Lollipop right now. And by the end of the video, you're gonna go and see I'm on actual Android M Preview Build. So we are on 5.0.1 uh, right there. If I go double tap on it, as you can see, we do have Lollipop right there. Um, so this guide is very straightforward and pretty darn simple to do. And this guide will also work with a Windows, Mac, or Linux. So any computer OS you have, this guide will work with it. And as always, all the files, commands, and links will be linked down below in the video description. And this will also wipe your device storage. So make sure you go and back up any important information before you go ahead and continue. So the first thing we're going to be doing is go ahead and power off your phone. So go and hold on the power button until you see power up oh, let me do that again until you see power off and then go and select it and wait until it fully powers off okay so once the nexus 5 is fully powered down we're gonna go and press and hold the power button and the volume down button at the exact same time press and hold both of them until you see a green start screen so press and hold both of them and you're gonna go ahead and see this green start screen just like this. And now we're gonna go ahead and plug on our phone via micro USB to our uh, phone and of course the USB side to our computer. And we're gonna go and finish up the process using our computer. Okay, so on my Windows computer, yes, I'm using Windows, but like I mentioned earlier, this guide will work with Windows, Mac, or Linux, so you don't have to worry about that. So as you can see on my desktop, yes, I have a file on my desktop, you have to be aware of that. Um, you can go and download this file called the Nexus 5 Android M Preview.zip. So go ahead and download this. Link is in the video description, just along with all the other commands, like I mentioned earlier. Download this in the link in the description below. So go ahead and download it and then move the zip folder to your desktop. I cannot stress that enough. Make sure you move this zip folder to your desktop or the commands will not work properly. So once the zip file is on your desktop computer, go ahead and right click on it and click on extract all. Um, you know, um, Directions are very similar for Mac and Linux as well. You can also Google it if you're confused, if you don't know how to unzip it. But now we're gonna click on extract. And it's gonna go and extract the actual file now. It is quite a large file, so it could take a few seconds, so I'll be right back. Okay, so after it's done extracting, as you can see, now we have a folder called Nexus 5 Android M Preview. So now it is a folder um, right there. So now what we're gonna be doing is go ahead and open up Command Prompt if you're on Windows, or open up Terminal if you're on Mac or Linux. So go and search on your start bar or your little spotlight key and go ahead and open that up. So since I'm on Windows, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Command Prompt, just right here. So I have, I have dual monitors, so I'm gonna drag it over. So this is what it'll look like. It'll look very similar to if, you're on, if you're using Terminal as well. Okay, so now the first command we're gonna be typing is CD Desktop, and make sure you do a capital D too. And I'll have all these commands as there are quite a few commands what you have to type in and press enter after each one. Link down below as well. So we're gonna press in CD desktop, enter. And then we're gonna go ahead and type in CD Nexus 5 and then go ahead and hit tab. It'll automatically fill in the rest of the file name for you and press enter. And remember it's in desktop because we moved the folder to our desktop. So that's why we're typing in desktop. If it's in your downloads, you can just type in downloads. But I stress that before. So anyway, now we're gonna go ahead and unlock our bootloader. But if your bootloader is already unlocked, you can skip this one command. So you can go and check right here. So it says lock state locked. So before we can continue, we have to unlock our bootloader, which is super simple to do. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna type in fastboot, OEM unlock, enter. And if you're on uh, Mac, you're gonna type in dot slash fastboot uh, dash Mac space OEM unlock. And if you're on Linux, you're gonna do dot slash fastboot dash Linux OEM unlock, just like that. So I'll have all, like I said earlier, I'll have all the commands for Windows, Mac, and Linux linked down below for your convenience. But since I'm on Windows, I'm gonna type in fastboot, fastboot OEM unlock, and if yours is already unlocked, you can skip this one uh, command. And we're gonna press enter. And now if you go ahead and look on your Nexus 5 screen, it's gonna say unlock bootloader question mark. And of course we wanna unlock it, so press the volume up and then power button. And now if you go ahead and look at the lock state, it says erasing, so give it a sec. Um, but now it says lock state unlocked. So our bootloader is now fully unlocked and we can go and continue on. Okay, so now everyone has to do this now. We're gonna go ahead and um, do the actual rest of the commands. So now we're gonna type in fastboot, space, flash, space, bootloader, space, boot, 
loader and you can press tab it'll automatically fill in the rest of the file name for you and like i said earlier you do dot slash fastboot dash mac or dot slash fastboot dash linux if you're on those os's this is for windows and then press enter and then we're going to type in fastboot space reboot dash bootloader enter now we're going to type in fastboot flash space radio space radio tab it'll automatically fill in the rest of the file name for you enter now we're going to type in fastboot space, oh, fastboot space reboot dash bootloader. Enter. Now we're going to type in fastboot space flash space system space system tab. It'll automatically fill in the rest of the file name for you. Press enter. Now this is quite a large file, so this uh this this step will actually take about eh, five to ten minutes. So be patient, and I'll be right back. Now we're going to go and type in fastboot. Fastboot space flash space user data space user tab. It'll automatically fill in the rest of the file name for you. Press enter. And this will take a few seconds too. Now type in fastboot space flash space boot space boot tab. So it'll do boot.img. Enter. Now do fastboot space flash. Oh, fastboot space flash space recov recovery space recov it'll automatically fill in the rest of the file name for you press enter now we're going to go ahead and do fastboot space oh, fastboot space erase space cache just like that enter now we're going to type in fastboot space flash space cache space cache tab it'll fill in the rest of the file name for you enter and we're almost done. One more last command. Now we're going to type in fastboot space reboot. Enter. And our phone is now going to automatically reboot into our normal Android stage where it's going to boot up into Android M preview. So I'm going to go ahead and change the camera angle real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so now our Android is actually booting up. You can go and see the boot up logo right there. And once it's fully done booting up, we're going to be entered into Android M preview build on our own Nexus 5. Also, you can go ahead and unplug this as well. Okay, so I actually did have to wait the just about the full 10 minutes for my Nexus 5 to fully boot up. So that's a little word and warning to you guys. Please wait the full 10 minutes before commenting that you're stuck in a boot loop or anything like that. As mine did take just about 10 minutes to fully boot up after installing the whole Android MOS. But anyways, you can see we're on this new setup screen. Um, this is the Android M setup screen currently. So we're going to go and skip through all of this. And we're going to and go into settings and do a quick little tour just to show you we're actually on Android M. Okay, so here we are at the home screen. We're going to tap on got it. And now we can go ahead and go down into settings, then to about phone. And as you can see now, it says Nexus 5 M version. So as you can see, it says Android M. And obviously, if you go and tap on it, uh, you're going to go ahead and get the M logo on your Nexus 5. So it's that simple, guys. And I'll show you, like, the app drawer is different now. They went ahead and changed the app drawer. You have volume controls now for um, right there if you go and select your volume keys right there you have options for your media and alarm on top of your regular no, um, sound right there so it's nice you can also do uh, silent as well so that, that is it guys that is how you simply install android m preview build on the nexus 5 super simple to do works with windows mac or linux um, and like i said earlier all the commands all the guides all the links everything that you need for this guide and how to get m preview build on your Nexus 5 will be linked down below in the video description. And as always guys, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial on how to get Android M on the Nexus 5, go ahead and show me some love by giving that thumbs up in the bottom left hand corner right there. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Until next time, peace.